you must be born again. A Biblical Teaching In the first century CE, Jesus said to a religious leader, Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? The Bible explains how those who have put their trust in Jesus Christ received him, and, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Thus, the new birth involves a new relationship with God that God himself creates with Jesus' followers. This is a somewhat mysterious action of which Jesus said, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the spirit. This new birth allows Jesus' followers to anticipate an happy eternity. The Apostle Peter exclaimed, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to his abundant mercy, has begotten us again to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. This spiritual regeneration accomplishes that which the ancient prophets predicted. In the 6th century BCE, Yahweh, the Almighty, promised, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you, I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh, I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Consequently, Jesus' disciples expect that their mortal body will, one day, be raised back to life. If Christ is in you, then the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Furthermore, those who are born again begin to make seven changes in their personal behavior. 1. They practice righteousness. If you know that he is righteous, then you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. 2. They do not sin. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin, because he has been born of God. 3. They love one another. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God, and knows God. 4. They believe in Jesus Christ. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him who begot, also loves him who is begotten of him. 5. They love God. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. 6. They keep God's commandments. This is the love of God, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. 7. They keep themselves from the devil. We know that whoever is born of God does not sin, but he who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. If you feel God moving in your life, then put your trust in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus has obtained for you, by his death, God's forgiveness for all that you have done, 
and, by his resurrection from death, he gives you eternal life. Do him the honor of getting baptized in his name, to be born again, and start keeping his commandments.